Hey guys, this is Cece, and uh, I'm an artist located here in Los Angeles, and I'm here with Vergeworthy hanging out today. Last year, I was working on just new music for, for the album that actually we just finished. My producer and co-writer and also the co-director of the music video, Chase Stockman, came up with uh, just this, this beat in the studio, and I, it was really inspiring, and it, it really felt like an anthem that I could could give them for everybody that's hung in there since since I kind of came onto the scene back in 2012. From the time that I I think that people even started to get to know who I was, they started calling themselves warriors and, and part of a tribe, and, and I loved that feeling of of family, of of having having a home and. We're all in this together, we're all friends, we're all, even if we haven't met yet, I view them as friends. As far as the sound of this record, the way that I would describe it is, the best word I can think of is cathartic. This is a sound that I have been writing and been looking to achieve for, for years. Like this feels like the most authentic version of, of my artistry and my sound. And, <laughs> I remember I played this record for my for my mom, and then she listened to it and she goes, "You sound so angry. Like, well, are you mad? Like, what?" I'm like, "Well, yeah. Like, there's definitely plenty to be pissed off about, but to be, but to be honest, it's more cathartic than anything. It felt like such a release of the things that I've been through over the past seven or eight years, especially since being, you know." on TV and, and everything, it just, this felt like something I needed to just get out. I just needed to, to get it out. So cathartic is definitely, cathartic, raw. It's, um, it, feels, it feels like a battle cry, the whole thing. So that's, that's the best way that I can, that I can describe it. You're right, I'm very vocal about women empowerment and I'm vocal about how, A, how women should be treated and, and B, how women should treat other women. I think that's a big one. I really don't want to walk into working with a new producer or a new agent or a new manager and have to wonder if the only reason they want to work with me is because they want to sleep with me. I'm pretty sick of that. I think that at some point along the way in our society, women were taught that other women were competition. And I really aim to eradicate that, that mindset. I'm very blessed to have a very small but a very tight-knit group of women that I surround myself with. And we don't compete with each other. We only uplift each other. We give each other hard advice when we need it. When I was growing up, I was bullied in high school and, and junior high and had a really hard time figuring out who I was. And, and I don't know, I just, I just think that you should really take those, those moments of adversity and use them as practice to be, because if you can be unapologetically yourself in the face of adversity, then, then I think you've found who you really are. My first episode of The X Factor aired I was trending worldwide on Twitter. At least half of the tweets that were coming in were of people hating me. Literally hating me. One eight, like people were threatening my life. They were like, if I ever see this girl in public, I would love to punch her in the face. I was devastated because I had spent my entire life building a reputation for myself in a very small town of just trying to be a good person and I felt like that was shattered over the course of an hour-long episode on national television. Instead of allowing it to cripple me, it took a lot and I praise my mother for this because my mom, I would come home from school or even a situation like this where my mom was like, 
You pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and don't you dare let those people see you cry. Well, you wanted the girl in the photo. Ah, you saw the smile, but not the eyes. Oh, I could chew up and spit out your So Good Wolf Entertainment is just kind of an overall entertainment company. I, I realized over time I, I've done so many things on my own just out of sheer necessity, needing to be resourceful to make my own clothes, make my own videos, the creative direct, my own shoots and videos, and then I started doing it for other people. And uh, then I met my business partner Chase, and he, he had, we had collaborated on so many things musically, and it just seemed like the right the right move to create a company that could kind of encompass all of the different things that we were doing. So we started Good Wolf Entertainment uh, early last year. We named it Good Wolf because you know we we're pretty firm believers that there are there's good and bad in each of us and there's like an old Native American parable about the two wolves inside each of us, the good wolf and the bad wolf. And they're always at war with each other and the one that wins is the one that you feed. What we strive for in, in our company is to always feed that good wolf and provide, you know, really mindful art. I realized that when my friends started coming to me being like, do you have any ideas of what I should do for this? Do you have any? And, and how deep I would dive into the ideas that I had um, for them, it, it just kind of created this snowball effect where giving people ideas turned into full-on creative directing their shoots and their videos. And then I realized that I was bringing on directors to do a job that I was already doing. And so that's where directing them myself and 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 with my partner and with you know an amazing team came from is I just decided to take on the whole the whole job myself Thank you so much. Uh, again, my name is Cece, and it's been awesome uh, hanging out with Verge Worthy today, and I will see you soon.